In today's video, it's donuts and deadlifts, and I explain carb cycling. And I always had a vision, I could get it, so I did it by my lonely I don't owe nobody, nothing, never let nobody own me Got some money from the music and I spent it on the homies But don't put nothing before me, gave it with to little Brody And I'm only getting started And I'm meeting with the people that I started oh, when we first met, I showed you It was some time in September I guess that I was afraid that if you rolled away Life I haven't seen in a couple weeks or months, starting to notice big things yeah, yeah. What's going on guys? It is Friday. It is 1.35 in the afternoon. We've already been up. Friday is a pretty busy day for me normally and then you add into that the fact that I've got a couple competitors competing. One locally, Jason, who you saw in yesterday's video. So today is going to be about getting some work completed. The video is going to go live for uh, yesterday and then we're going to go to the gym. Today is one of my favorite days, deadlift day. Um, I've been feeling really good with deadlift so Hopefully, I just keep climbing the ladder and getting stronger and being safe with the deadlifts today. And then I uh, have a surprise visitor. He might be on the video later. You might already know about it because he might be in the thumbnail. He's a pretty cool guy. And uh, so, going to go to uh, athlete check-ins with my athlete, talk about um, final preparations. And then, probably going to go out and get some food um, with this guest individual. He's, uh, he's always a good 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 person to hang out with good for a laugh so um yeah that's it it's gonna be a good day and um we'll probably figure something to make this video useful to you as well this is a tasty wrap how can i get you are you all out of donuts yet? No. It's National Donut Day, right? Yep. What kind are you looking for, though? I want three dozen, one dozen glazed, other two dozen just kind of variety. Not all for me, though. I'm not a 36 donuts in a sitting kind of guy, but uh, yeah, that, that's fine. All righty. I want to be the most shredded guy at the gym, so I'm bringing you the. I know, it's National Donut Day. Is it really? Yeah. It fits my macros. Of course it does. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's what everyone wants. Oh, yeah. So yeah, just give him whoever wants them. Beautiful. Incredible. Oh, you're the man. man. <laughs> you wanna? Yeah. yeah. Toasties. Uh, Toast donuts? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, sir. No, it'll be by. Just a little warm up. Get some uh, blood in the lower body. Get all the muscle firing for deadlifts so I can out deadlift Colin someday. Dream big. here which was like kind of my it's kind of my test weight and so far I haven't felt it so I'm gonna stop here as far as uh, one rep max for the day I've been I've been doing like a conservative one rep max and then basing my training off of that I don't even want to go up after 315 so I'm gonna do a set of five here maybe eight see how it feels and then I may end up doing something heavier at the end of the workout 
just based on how I feel, but not likely. So we're just gonna stop here. The reason I'm doing that is, you know, I've just been deadlifting again like four or five weeks now, so I'm not I'm not in a rush. I know it's gonna be there um, if I do it the right way. And everything feels really good, which is the most exciting thing. So even deadlifting 315 for reps is very exciting to me and very uh, fulfilling. So yeah. So we are uh, done with deadlifts. It didn't feel wonderful today, uh, but it felt healthy. I just didn't feel like the speed was there to go heavier. So we ended up doing three sets of five with 315, and then I did a set of 225 for maybe 12 or 15. Um, and now I'm gonna do some leg accessory work before I do leg pressing because my knees have been bugging me a little bit. And I find that uh, if I do like leg extensions, leg curls a lot before I leg press, my knees don't bother me. It's almost like they get warmed up or whatever. So yeah, I'm just doing a circuit with leg extensions, leg curls, and uh, calves. And then we'll do some leg press, and then probably a little bit of like split leg squats, and that'll be about it for today. All right, so done with the workout. Now uh, we are headed to Gaither High School where the bodybuilding show is tomorrow. Check-ins are there, so I'm gonna go check in with my client, Jason, just make any last minute adjustments with him, and then we're gonna go to dinner with my parents and Isabel at the uh, the place my son likes to call the fire table, which is with the hibachi. So yeah, that'll be it. Maybe we'll get some shots of the fire table. I gave you like 300 something, right? Yeah, so, I still got a lot more to go. 200 plus carbs. Go get some sleep, go eat. <laughs> yeah, you look good, dude. Bad. How you doing? I'm good. I just wanted to check in and have a little little chat. Windows yet. We got a roof. We got doors. So we are making some serious progress. Be like this. Welcome to Pro Physique Headquarters. Come on in. Look at that. Man, I'm really tall. <laughs> it's just there's no precedent for it. Here we go. Since he got here, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know if I was with you. How do you know? 37. Uh, mushroom here? Is that? It's the best time to get into retail, bro. Okay, yeah. zero. Okay. Who's everybody? You guys know Paul. What's up? Pete? What's up, dude? Welcome to Tampa. Tampa, Florida, man. It's actually warmer in Chicago right now. It's just post workout meal. And uh, everybody has cameras. We got Jake here. 
It's like one client of mine, and we've got, we got none other than... we got pancakes all around, bro. Oh, uh, the entertainment value. So much pancakes. Grab your popcorn. Chad Nutter's getting it all in terms of the vlog. So in the echoes, giving my life to a team. Now I'm all alone like a Carmelo or that. What the hell are they singing these songs? I don't hear them, no. Don't tell me stories. I hit to the glad First meal, then. Go ahead with that. I always... Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella, ProPhysique.com, coming to you late night, but I wanted to get this out today because uh, my man Chad's been filming all day, and I got some comments on yesterday's video topic, and I wanted to share my thoughts on carb cycling and refeeds because it seems like there are questions that need to be answered. So let's talk about the two different approaches to using carbohydrates in a fat loss phase. The first thing I want to explain is why do we even bother increasing carbohydrates or decreasing carbohydrates in a fat loss phase. Well, as I discussed in yesterday's video, the most variable macronutrient is going to be carbohydrates, right? We need to keep protein pretty steady. We need to keep fat in a good range. So carbohydrates are the biggest variable. They're also going to be the one that impact performance the most in the gym and in your training. So what we like to do, I as a coach like to do, is use a refeed day approach. A refeed day is basically a day where we take carbohydrates and raise them up and we bring down protein and we bring down fat a little bit to kind of balance the, out the, the calories for the day. The goal there is we get a spike to our glycogen. We also, because everybody loves carbs, you enjoy eating so you get a psychological benefit. There may, there may not be some hormonal benefits that happen to take place during that time as well. Some research has shown that things like refeeds or two consecutive day refeeds may be beneficial. So that's what a refeed day is. If we're looking at a, a micro cycle of a diet, say one week, and we're looking at a single day as a refeed, what we would do is we would raise up carbohydrates. Say someone takes in 100 grams of carbohydrates a day, well on their refeed day, they might take in 200. For those of us that have been dieting for a long period of time, that sounds like heaven when you get to double your carbohydrates. So. That's just the basics of the refeed. But what is the carb cycle, right? So a carb cycle would look more like this. Instead of being at 100 grams of carbs every day and a bump of 200 at one day, what we might do is we might have a day where we go 250 carbs, the next day go 200 carbs, the next day go 150, the next day 100, and then we may have a day or two at 50 grams of carbs, right? So you're actually cycling your carbohydrates up and down. Now, is there a difference between a refeed approach and a difference between the carbo cycling approach? In my opinion, a carb cycle is a little bit more aggressive, right? That's when calories are getting a little bit lower and you're looking to do something to boost the hormones and allow fat loss to progress at an even more aggressive rate. So you might have some really ultra low days, 30, 40 grams of carbs, 50 grams of carbs, and then bump them back up again. I don't use carb cycles. I very rarely do, I should say. I have used them in the past, but what I've had a lot, a lot of luck with and a lot of, um, positive feedback over the last year is more diet breaks and more consecutive day refeeds. So instead of like having carbs drop, tapering down throughout the week, I'll have two consecutive days at say 200 grams of carbs. Or if it's someone that's a little bit bigger and has a better metabolism, that they're eating maybe 200 grams to 250 grams of carbs a day, I might have them at two days at 400 in a row. I've just seen a better result from that uh, and, and a diet break, which would be an entire week basically at refeed numbers versus using a carb cycle approach. So it's not something that I utilize very often. Now, if someone tells me I love a carb cycle, then I will work with them and we will figure out a way because the most important variable is the psychology of the athlete. And yes, I wanna get them to fit the mold of my philosophy, but I'm also open to the idea of if something has worked for them in the past and they believe it's gonna work for them, then I'm happy to help them with it. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's footage. We had a national donut day where we stopped in and got a couple dozen donuts for the gym. And I got to see my buddy Colin and my buddy Mark Lobliner's in town. So we went and had dinner with him. And uh, tomorrow is a big day. I've got four athletes competing across four different categories. So I think what I wanna do is a video on the topic of peaking because I've got a pro bikini competitor. I've got a master's natural bodybuilder. I've got a men's physique competitor and I've got a classic physique which is basically like more like bodybuilding, the short shorts, and they do all the poses. So I've got four completely different athletes competing tomorrow, and they've got four completely different approaches to peaking. If that's something you're interested, let me know. Tomorrow I'll be at the show all day, and so we'll be, uh, we'll be working on that. My man Chad's behind the, the, the camera. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's footage, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.